This video will cover all animals we've been talking about in class. So animals is near your shoulders, or some of those animals might be pets, so you want to keep petting their head. First is going to be a dog. So a dog either with a B on their ear. You could also spell dog. Or you can like hit your thigh and then pretend to call them here. So dog, dog, or dog. A fish, just like it's swimming. A cat, like the whiskers. A lizard sticks his tongue out, so it's going to be with a one. A snake is with a bent V. And a frog is with a three, so just like their legs jumping. Uh, other animals, pig is similar to frog, but it's with an open hand, so pig. A mouse is on your nose. A bird looks like their beak. So chicken and bird have the same sign. And bunny and horse are very similar, but they have different directionality. So a bunny, his ears go back. Bunny, or you can also sign it bunny. And horse, they face up and forward. Other animals, like a donkey. Donkey, this is also the sign for stubborn because donkeys are stubborn. A hippo is with a Y. Crocodile is with a claw hand. Think of like their teeth are scarier. A monkey, so you're going to be near where your hips are with a claw moving up. And a gorilla or ape is going to pound his chest. So A for ape on your chest. A giraffe, they have a very long neck. Giraffe. Tigers, it's going to be almost like cat whiskers, but like the stripes on their body. So tiger. Zebra is with a four. It's just going to show the stripes of their body. Zebra. A whale is with a Y, so think of here's the water, they're jumping out of the water. A lion, think of their mane, so it's a claw going over your head. A squirrel, like they're holding an acorn, so with a three, bent three. Cutest animal ever, the raccoon. He has little stripes on his eyes. A goat, so you're going to basically make the horns on your head. So S on your chin to a bent V on your forehead. Goat. A sheep or lamb, think about their, used, their fur is used for blankets and things like that, so you're almost shaving them. A wolf has a long nose. Owl, think of their eyes with an O. And a penguin is going to be also at your hips. So think about how they waddle. That's what you're doing. An elephant has a long trunk or nose. A bat, think about this is how they sleep. They have their wings in. Bat. A camel, you're going to show the hump of the camel's back. Bear is with claws. So think of like a teddy bear you want to hold, but it still has claws, so bear. Moose has a big antlers, moose, and then deer would just bounce on your head. So deer or moose. A fox is going to be an F for fox on your nose. A dolphin is with an R, but it also jumps in and out of the water, so dolphin. A llama, this kind of looks like a llama. If you think about this is their face and here are their long ears. A turtle hides in his shell. So just your dominant thumb should be moving. And a jellyfish, this should look like all the little tentacles as it moves.
jellyfish. You also have a rhino. So this is going to be the rhino's horn, a cow, a Y on the side of your head, a shark, B for his fin, and an octopus is similar to jellyfish, but he has a whole head. So here's his head on his legs, octopus. A kangaroo hops around a lot. A seal, when they push their hands or fins together. And a walrus has really long tusks, so you're going to open hand to make the S to show the tusks. 